How to use Quillbot Hello everyone, in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to use Quillbot which is one of the most popular paraphrasing and also plagiarism checker platforms around. While you can use Quillbot without signing up, I do recommend that you sign up as it is completely free. All you will need is your email address. So all you need to do is go over to the top right hand corner and right where you see your profile pic, you'll simply tap right there and log in. And again, you can sign up using your email address or your Facebook account. Once you have signed up, you will be redirected to this dashboard and you will see is English your first language and you can select yes or no. And then from there, most of my writing is used for work or school. You can select whichever one as Quillbot is creating a profile for you. What is your education level? From there, you can also select it right there. Or if you want, you could simply tap on skip right here. And once you have tapped on skip, you will be redirected to this dashboard. And if you would like to add the Quillbot plugin or extension, you can also do that. Or you can tap right here, paraphrase on Gmail, you could add it right there. But let's get into the features. So the first thing you want to do is go over to the top right hand corner and you are going to see paraphraser. You could tap on that and from here you can see the different languages that you can use. So you have English, US, French, Spanish, German or any other language by tapping on all as you can see right here. And also you can decide your mode whether you want it to be standard English, fluent, formal, simple, creative, expand, or shorten. And you can also choose whether you would like to use synonyms or not, as you can see right there. So if you would like a message to be paraphrased, all you would have to do is type it in. So let's say, for example, I type in, good morning. Then I'll tap on paraphrase. And you can see how it looks right there. Hello and nice morning. And then you can also highlight it by tapping right here. And you can tap right there and you will see the option to rephrase. And you could choose another example as you can see right there. So let's say instead of morning, I want to use day. So you can see how the paraphrasing works as you can see right there. And if you would like to paraphrase in standard, you can do that by tapping on standard right there, then you can see that the paraphrase goes to happy morning. Another feature that you can also use on Quillbot is their grammar checker. So you could tap on their grammar checker right there. And again, it is available in any language. So whether you would like to use English, German, French, Spanish, you can still use it. And again, you are able to add the Quillbot extension by tapping on add to Chrome right here. So all you would have to do is type in your sentence that you would like to check for grammar and Quillbot will be able to do that. So let's say, for example, I were to type in, how are you doing? Let me do that real quick. Then you can see two errors and you can see that it highlights the error right there. So all I would have to do is hover over it and you can see how to fix it right there. Or I could tap on fix all errors at the bottom of the page right here and it automatically fixes it for me. Another feature on Quillbot is their plagiarism checker. So you could tap on their plagiarism checker right here. But to use the plagiarism checker, you would have to sign up to one of their paid plans. So you can see right here, upgrade to get started to use the plagiarism checker, as you can see right there. And the plagiarism checker would basically be if you are typing in, if you are using any content from off the internet or so on, and you would like to check if it is plagiarized, you can do that. And the fourth icon right here from the left hand menu option is their co-writer feature. So you could tap on their co-writer feature and you would be redirected to this page right here. And from here, you'll be able to start typing and Quillbot with their AI feature will automatically start helping you as you can see right here.
So let's see, start search, start writing or search for content by clicking on research. So let's say you want to start typing. So let me do that real quick. So you can see right here. Hello, how are you doing? Let me type something real quick. And you can see right here, you can choose whether you would like to paraphrase, summarize or suggest text. I could tap on suggest text right there. And then you can see their AI platform right there. Consider the suggestions below. And you can see right there, I could choose any one of these. All I would have to do is tap on it. So hello, how are you doing today? I hope you're having a great day thus far. Is there anything exciting or interesting that you have been up to lately? So you can see that it finishes my sentence right there. And if I would like to suggest even more text, I could tap on suggest text and you can see that it is suggesting even more. All I would need to do is type in more as you can see there. And if you would like to use citations, you could tap on citations in the left hand menu option or the right hand menu option better yet, sorry. And you can also use audio. So you can use the dictate feature right here if you would like. So let's go back to the main page. And you can also see that the Quillbot layout stays just like Microsoft Word as you can see the top menu option right here. So if you would like to add an image or anything like that, you can do all of that right here in Quillbot. So instead of going on to Microsoft Word, you could do all of that right here. And once you're finished, all you'll need to do is go up to the top left hand corner, tap on file. After you have tapped on file, from there, you'll be able to export it as you can see right here. But let's close out of this and go back to the main menu. Once on the main menu again, I want you to go over to the left hand menu option. And from there, you can see that Quillbot also offers a summarizer feature. So all you would have to do is type in your sentence or your paragraph right here. Then decide the length that you would like it to be summarized to. Whether you want a long summary or a short summary, you can drag along the slider right here to decide. Then you'll tap on summarize. And also for college students or so on, you could use the citation generator as you can see right here. All you would need to do is enter or paste the URL or you could enter the journal article or book as you can see right here. Then you'll tap on cite. Or if you would like to cite manually, you can also do that. And a feature that a lot of persons don't know that Quillbot offers is their translator feature. As all you'll need to do is tap on translate. Once you have tapped on translate, you could type in the text or you could paste the text right there. And it will automatically de detect the language. Then in the top right hand corner, you can decide the language that you would like to translate it to. So let's say I would like to translate it to Italian. All I would have to do is tap on Italian and you can see that it has been translated right there. Then I'll simply tap on the toolbox in the bottom right hand corner to copy it. And if I would like to translate it to another language, all I would have to do again is tap on the top right where you see Italian. Then from there, if I want to translate it to Thai, I could tap on that and you can see it right there. And you have the chance to translate up to 5000 characters as you can see here. So Quillbot is definitely a very handy tool whether you are just an everyday person or you're a business owner or a worker or a school student. So Quillbot is a very handy tool. It doesn't matter what you do. So Quillbot is a very handy tool. Whether you're a student and you would like to use it to play right. So Quillbot is a very handy tool. It doesn't matter whether you want to use it on your job, in the privacy of your home or at school. So I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe and thank you for watching.